G'day everyone, my name is David Mai and welcome back to First Time Reefer TV. Now I hope you guys enjoyed my last upload of the tank update of the tank here. I know it's been a while since I've had a video come out, but uh, I'll put a link up here to the video so you guys can go and check that. Now we're gonna go through a series of videos just to cover off certain things in my aquarium that attribute to that good water quality that I spoke about in that last video. Now today we've got a, um, we're gonna talk about a UV sterilizer. Now this episode's actually been brought to you by Fresh By Design. Fresh by Design uh, specialize in aquaculture and commercial aquarium facilities, but the products also can come home into the home aquarium and be used here as well. Um, their website is full of a range of products that you can use in the home aquarium, so be sure to check out their website at www.freshbydesign.com.au and thank you so much for supplying this UV for this video. So we've got here the Pentair 25 watt UV sterilizer. Now Pentair is definitely renowned for the being one of the best uh, UV sterilizers out there on the market especially in the commercial facilities uh, you can use some of their incredibly large units in your home aquarium as well if you have a look at uh, I think it's Pendy's tank I think it's got a 150 watt unit which is a ridiculous size right so now a UV sterilizer essentially has a UV fluorescent bulb in the middle here down the center of the tube and the water comes out through the tank into the bottom of the unit and passes through that uh, UV light. Now, the, the, there's a couple of ways that you, why you would run a UV sterilizer. Now, uh, the first can be just for algae and um, bacterial uh, issues, which uh, requires a much lower dose of UV to the water column. Now, I'll call it as a UV dose because the light is actually emitting a UV light, which is dosing it to the water that passes through it and therefore breaking down the, the cells of the uh, microorganism that's passing through and hopefully obliterating it uh, and because the because algae and bacteria actually multiply so fast and their cells are much weaker you need a stronger or a quicker flow rate uh, so I think on this unit it's about uh, 1,500 liters uh, per hour so it's a certain amount of turnover of your tank volume versus how much flow and the contact time is going through there to actually break down those DNA cells um, and the, the second way you can run your UV sterilizer is to co control protozoa, which is things like white spot, ick, and velvet, uh, which uh, the cells are a much thicker wall, so it requires a stronger, stronger dose of UV, uh, and therefore it, mean, it needs a much slower uh, contact time or a longer contact time through the, the body of the UV sterilizer, just so it allows enough time to break down uh, those walls and, 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 and break down the DNA cells. Now, I've got it plumbed this way because uh, I find this to be the most efficient. I've watched a couple of BRS videos and they recommended to run it as a closed loop. But it's really important when you're uh, selecting a UV to one, select a quality unit, uh, like the Pente here, or you've also got the Ultra Aqua UV Twists, probably two of the market leading uh, UV sterilizers available in the market. Uh, a lot of the cheaper ones I would consider just to be a clarifier, not a sterilizer. Um, and ensure that you check to make sure that you're doing the correct dose and the correct flow rate through your unit. So if you have a look at the Fresh By Design website, they've actually got a huge breakdown of all the things that you can control with a UV sterilizer and the required dosing rate. It's a very, very detailed document. Uh, how many, is it mi microwatts per centimeter, I think it is, but uh, be sure to jump onto their website and check that out because if you don't run your UV sterilizer correctly when it comes to sizing or when it comes to flow rate, you might as well not run one at all. So, um, you know, you can get to, you can't really do both with one UV sterilizer because of the different flow rates, uh, but I have been told that if you do have a large enough UV sterilizer, then it does allow you to be able to knock both of those off. But I would assume that it would have to be significantly oversized uh, for your tank for that to be effective. So, uh, like I said, I've got mine with a gate valve here. The pump comes straight from the tank so I can pick up everything. Also want it, your water to be, you know, the water that's passing through the unit to be very, very clean. Because the more detritus that's going through it, uh, or that's picking up, the more that it's the UV is not going to contact with that uh, germicide or microorganism that you're trying to take apart. So I've got a little uh, piece of filter 
uh, foam in there just to pick up the detritus before it goes through the UV sterilizer. Comes out of the tank, I've got a control valve here so I can work out my flow rate. Goes out through the bottom and you always have to either install these as vertical so the air can go out the top or if you're going to mount it horizontally that the two outlets need to be facing up so then the air, any air that does get trapped can go out or is you're going to possibly overheat your unit. As, and then that goes straight back into the tank. Um, it, I've got the outlet up there so I can see very easily sort of how much flow rate so you can uh, if you're lucky enough to get a flow meter then you can put a flow meter on there if not if you just time how long it takes to do a two litre jug and then just multiply it by however long to get your litres per hour. Um, the, the Pentairs are really designed for that commercial uh, use because they are built to, to be used either indoors or outdoors. They're significantly larger because it allows for more water and more contact time in the body there. Um, there's viewing panels up the top and the bottom so you can ensure that your UV light is actually working correctly. And then uh, to change the bulb, it's really, really easy. All you've got to do is just undo this. The bulb pulls out so your unit can continue running. Pull the bulb out, change a new bulb in, which I think they recommend to change a bulb every six to 12 months. Uh, but make sure you don't touch the bulb with your hands, which is a piece of tissue. Um, and then plug it back in. All you've got to do is just lower it back in, screw it, and off you go again. So uh, I've actually used this. I had a little bit of a white spot outbreak in the tank. Um, and I spoke to Thomas Chi and he said, you know, get that UV flow right down so it can um, break down those, uh, those, uh, those, uh, those, uh, those white spot cells. Um, and, you know, I, I'm nervous to say this, but I don't have white spot in the tank and it certainly eradicated it from the fish. So I can attribute that to the UV sterilizer working effectively and whether, you know, white spots not eradicated from the system, but it's, uh, you know, depleted the numbers enough for the fish to, you know, get healthy again and just fight off uh, what is still in there. So, uh, and now I've actually got it running on full flow. You can see the gate valve there is completely open uh, and the water is crystal clear. Now, the differences I've noticed running a UV sterilizer on that full flow has been incredible. The glass I only need to clean once, maybe twice a week now. The film, whereas before I was running it every, cleaning at least every second day. It was driving me bonkers. Uh, the sand I find cleaner. Um, I haven't had any issues with cyano or anything like that. Um, and the tank's just, just flourishing as you can see from the last video. So, you know, there's a reason why all experienced reefers do run a UV sterilizer on their tank. Um, and it's just about getting more information and understanding uh, how to correctly install and operate your UV sterilizer for the appropriate job in order to get the maximum efficiency out of your UV sterilizer. Now, if you guys want to watch uh, some really detailed videos, BRS TV did some amazing videos on these very units here on their tanks about running it from day one to controlling everything and how important flow rates are. So I highly recommend you guys go over there and check it out. Be sure to jump over to the Fresh By Design website, www.freshbydesign.com.au to check out their amazing range of products that you can use in your aquarium at home too. And it, even though it is industrial gear and commercial gear, even Pendy proves that you can use a 1.8 meter tall skimmer on your home tank. So uh, be sure to check that one out as well. Uh, but if you like this video, smash that thumbs up. Give the channel a subscribe because we've got so many other videos coming out and plus the update on the tank out the side there. And uh, my friends, until next time, peace out.